you've come up so much more now because the idea of consent and boundaries has become an issue that's come up so much in the past year. And there's been a lot of instances where directors have not respected performers' boundaries. Performers have been made to do things that they didn't enjoy. There wasn't communication on set about what the person was okay and wasn't okay with. And so now some companies are actually only now just instituting checklists, which I think you guys have had forever. Like you got, you were like the OG, like consent (laughs) boundary checklist people. And now the rest of us are kind of catching up on that. And even for me, you know, as a female producer who doesn't, who does shoots pretty vanilla stuff for the most part, I am now so much more hyper aware of boundaries in communication, something that I wasn't before. And I've never had anybody say that they had a bad experience with me or was made to do something that they didn't want to do, to my knowledge, obviously. Right. Um, but I never really like sat down and was like, okay, let's have you guys talk to each other about their do's and your don'ts. Because I guess for me, I always figured like, well, we're not shooting anything that extreme anyways, and I'm a woman. And so like, and I always try to make the models feel comfortable and feel like they have power and they have say on set. So like, they should know that they can call cut whenever they want, right? And right. me as a woman, I should be able to tell if somebody's uncomfortable, like I have that intuition. And, and they'll be comfortable with and you. And they'll be fine, women. exactly. And and after all of these stories came up, I, it, it made me realize like that's not enough. It's actually really not enough, and it is really important that I make sure that the performers talk to each other about boundaries because sometimes it's not even something that's extreme, but it could be something that could trigger somebody because of something that happened to them in their past that obviously there's no way I could be aware of that. Oh, totally. And as upsetting as it is that there are all of these consent violations coming out, it's so... It's so positive that they're finally being talked about. Right. Because they were obviously happening. Yeah. And it's really, I mean, growing out of BDSM tradition, we, consent is a very negotiated, very, I mean, BDSM is successful when there's good communication. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's given everyone pause to go, okay, I bet there are things that I hadn't even thought of that someone might not know or just question assumptions. And I, it's really amazing to hear that folks like you and, you know, other folks who are shooting vanilla stuff are not just learning from what's happened, but just kind of who always had everyone's best interest at heart now have a new, you know, way to do that opened up to them and they're pursuing it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Kudos to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.